Hey guys, this is Sarah, and today I decided that I was going to be filming um, a review of a mascara, so I was like, well, I was going to do like a, you know, a review and a, this is how it performed throughout the day, so I thought, well, I'm going to put my face on anyway, so why don't I just do like a get ready with me? Um, I've already cleansed, um, I used, this is Cold Face by Lush, that's some coconut shampoo left over from Lush. I don't know, it's gotten so small and you can also use it as a soap, so it's like my hand soap right now, but the cold face is just for my face. Um, I followed that up with the alcohol-free toner by Neutrogena. This is literally, there's like drop left. This is the last of the four bottles I got when Zeller's went under. I've had a couple of other things in there, but yeah, anyway. Um, I also finished off with the Cetaphil um, Moisturizing Lotion because um, it's just like a really nice light lotion. I um, actually got this um, in my stocking for Christmas, it's just the travel size, but I find that you really don't need a lot. It seems really good for a day, like a nice lightweight daily moisturizer. Um, I've also already primed. I used, this is just a small sample size of the Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer. Um, and also, um, in along my T-zone, where I was like, um, especially for my nose, um, I just got a sample of Professional recently, so I was like, well, I might as well give that a try. Um, I used it yesterday, I didn't even put makeup over it, and it still really looked very nice. So, what I'm going to start with um, is uh, MAC... Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20, which is what I am. Uh, I was kind of shocked that it wasn't something different. Um, I have a big mirror here, but I also have a little mirror here. Also, I'm not wearing my glasses, and I have a really terrible eyesight. So, if you see me doing this, it's because I'm not wearing my glasses. But I'll try and stay in frame at least. Um, I'm just going to bring that under my eyes. I just sort of spread it on and then tap around the edges. I know I'm laying it on really thick, way thicker than my dark circles even require. Um, probably, and it looks a little extreme, I have some acne on my nose, I'm going to hit that while I'm just making my way across. Um, I mean, you can see I think pretty fair. I mean that I just blobbed there, but my dark circles are quite, quite bad. They're, yeah. I had an eye cream that I was testing out that I was using on them. It seemed to be helping, um, but I ran out. And then this trivectin ones, it was amazing. Felt really nice and tightening too. It's like really nice. I'm, I'm lucky because I don't really have bags, but okay. So that's the under eyes, and I feel good about that. I mean, I'm not going to do anything extreme, and I'm still putting an extra spot. Uh, I got my whole chin apparently, so I guess we'll just spread that out. Sure. Uh, Why not? Uh, but yeah, I, um, what was I saying? Oh god. Uh, and just around my nose, and spread, oh, on the other side. This weird huge patch I have over here for some weird reason. Um, and I don't do this with a concealer brush just because I find when it warms up to room temperature, not room temperature, body temperature, um, it works out really well. So that's my concealer. Um, That was one pump, not even a whole pump for everything. And I mean, there's still a little bit of product wastage. It's not a perfect thing by any extent. Now I'm going in with L'Oreal True Match in C1. 
because I'm really fucking pale. Ah, it's way too much. It's way too much. Uh, ah, well, we'll do. No, wait, no, no. I won't do that. It's way, 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 way too much. Wah. Okay. So apparently that's as much as I'm using, which looks worse because it's all spread out now because I made a terrible, terrible error. Um, and I'm going to be using, I just like recently got this. This is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki, um, which I find does pick up a bit of product. Not insane amounts like I expected. So I've just sort of tapped my brush in there and then start attacking my face like some kind of crazy. So literally just tap it in there. Like you're trying to make a white face and then just buff it around. I don't know what it is, but the longer I've had this foundation, I swear to God, the whiter it's getting. Um, it's like it's reverse oxidizing. So I don't know what's going on there. Anybody wondering? Yeah, the noises. The noises are necessary. If you knew me in my personal life, you would know. It's just me. Okay. Let's get this hair out of the way. Which is very difficult because my hair is always in the way. Always. And pick up the last bit. I've been using this foundation for a while now. Um, I mean, I've tried some other products since I got it. It was literally the first um, liquid foundation I ever tried. And to be really honest, like I, I like it because it's really light and it feels really good on the skin. Um, it is buildable. That was one coat. Not a lot left on the brush. Surprisingly, despite what it looks like, not actually that much left on my hand. Um, this is only, I don't know, the second or third time that I've, I've applied my foundation using any brush that I've enjoyed. I have a couple of the flat classic ones, but really don't enjoy them. Uh, I just feel like I'm painting onto my face and like there's no blending. It's so streaky and horrible, but this, is to me it's an even better finish than if I'm using my fingers because sometimes there's little patches. This just this seems to do just an amazing job. Really, really, really enjoy it. Now, um, normally I like to go in with powder immediately after, but today I'm using a product from Bombshell Cosmetics called the One Stick um, in the color Sunset. I will swatchy swatch. So that's it straight off the stick. Um, this is one of those ones, technically they say you can use it on your eyes as well. I would not. Um, I am just going to use it today on my cheeks as a blush. I'm not even gonna use it on my lips. Although I have used it on my lips a couple of times and it's a really pretty color. Um, it was sort of a toss up today between this and Benetton, but I'm still forming an opinion about this. Literally just and blend. There we go. I still feel like it's a little bit heavy, but um, I'm going to correct that in a minute. I'm also gonna wash my hands. It's something I normally do a lot more. Like literally, I would have done it after my concealer. 
because I use my hands as a sort of a palette. So, yeah. just split that out. Okay, just grab a um, I actually use my full face cleanser for that. It's a nice cleanser. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. It's not really what I was expecting. Which is cool. Also, normally I would use a towel. The towel is actually part of this system right now, holding you up. Because um, <laughs> apparently that's a really great angle. Um, or it's not as hideous as I expected. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to leave this. I think that it's actually quite nice. It's settled in really nicely. Um, I'm going to properly powder now. Um, <clears throat> today I'm using the setting FX in light. I have had this forever. It is a really nice product. It's very finely milled. What I really like is it doesn't get up my nose. Um, and I'm just using this big honkin' kabuki I got in a Luxe box. Um, it's actually, it's a really nice brush. I don't know who makes their brushes when they send brushes out with their... And I'm just sort of tapping that in. And I know some people are going to be like, why are you powdering your entire face? I should point out, I have combination skin. Um, that will break out oily in random patches. The only place, literally the only place in my face that never breaks out oily is literally this section right here along my jaw. That is it. Everywhere else, fair game. And by then, well, I've already made my face look like this. So I might as well just take the powder all the way down. I did, I'm pretty sure I remember to Take my foundation a bit down my neck. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit along the jaw. Nothing crazy. I normally do it better. I'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, now, uh, for my contour, I have this bronzer by Pixie. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> okay, that. I managed to catch it just as it went, so um, what you're going to see is a quick snip. Um, I ran out of space. So, Pixie Bronzer, I can't remember. It looks like this. Okay, it's not really so much a bronzer as a blush. I don't know, I just, I just tap in a couple times. For me it just adds a little bit of color, just because I'm so, I am really pale. I'm not as pale as some people. I just use the E3 method and just whack it on there. Just a little something, something. And now, like yeah, it really has, it has basically no pigmentation. Um, depending on what's going on, sometimes I add other blush on top just to add a little bit of a look there, but I, I feel like, I don't know, everything looks nice and bright today. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So I'm gonna go with it. Um, I am going to go in now with my um, All the Glitters by MAC and the Coastal Sands brush in uh, BRC02. Um, I should point out, I do not buy brushes. I get brushes in subscription boxes because Except for this. This I bought on purpose because people kept saying it and talking about it. And especially, like, yeah. And they were all like, flat top kabuki, flat top, no, flat top kabuki. <laughs> Words are hard. Anyway, so I actually attempted to eBay one, but I could not find one. 
that looked right. So, because I knew that I wanted it to be like, if you see that, like it's flat, like it's flat. Um, and I pretty much figured out that that was the secret behind why this brush works. Um, and so I just bit the bullet and even with shipping, it was only 27 to Canada. So I was like, I take care of my tools. So I have an eyelash in my mouth. Um, and I'm just literally just gonna do, I'm actually gonna do this because I naturally have a crease in my lid. I'm literally just sweeping that all over the lid. all I wanted. I'm usually pretty basic with my makeup, honestly. Um, I'm becoming more adventurous, but typically I'm just like a single shade on the lid kind of girl just because it gets a little fussy after that and my poor eyeballs are not up to the task so yeah it looks about right um so there's that i'm also going to go in and do my eyebrows very quickly with this victoria jackson pencil in taupe this is something I very recently started even giving any shits about. Um, so yeah. So it looks like that. I think it fits my brows really nicely. Just adds a little bit of something. I'm not even trying to like really do much. I just literally am just Filling in, honestly, it's just some spots where I have had acne in my brows over the years. Or right now. I'm not saying it looks perfect. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But it hovers over my glasses, so nobody's really gonna know. Nobody's gonna get that close. Um, I also am going in with this, well, that's not the way to take that off. Um, it's an Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Pencil in Penny. I'm gonna be doing that on my, oh. And there it is there. I'm just gonna do that along my lower lash line. Because I think it'll look really cute. I don't know. I got this in my Ipsy bag, so I was very excited to get to use it. Um, and. Uh, wah, wah. else who got this in their empty bag actually if you're watching this um you can actually sharpen this um even though it is plastic which i did not believe but some people have posted it so it's a little disappointed when i received it and i was like oh i can sharpen it oh okay um so and then i'm going to just finish off with this revlon lip butter in Ugh, I can't read that either, but it's a shade 050. And it's just really pretty. My 
front a better. And I know you're looking at this and you're going, but you didn't do your mascara. I am going to curl my lashes right now. And then that's going to be the end for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to use this travel curler by Belvada, which I really like. It fits my eyes perfectly. But I'm going to tell you right now, ooh, where is it? Oh, I know I brought it in here. Of course I brought it in here. Okay, well, I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm going to be finishing off with um, <laughs> Yves Rocher's Sexy Pulp Mascara. Um, and I'll probably be top coating that either with Lash Genius by Anastasia or, um, where is it? Anyway, um, or Jelly Bong Bong's Fairy Lashes, which is a tubing mascara. They're both really, really great. Um, but either way, I might not even coat it with anything just to see how it wears. Um, but I probably will because it seems kind of unfair to do to it when it's not the mascara's fault if it runs because I'm a very squinty person. Um, so anyway, I am going to go and do that and I will see you guys in my next video. If you were watching my mascara review to see how well that held up, then I will probably be winding up linking you to this video anyway, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you guys have a really great day. Everything should be in the down bar. I'll try and put prices on full-size pro full products if I can find them. Granted, some stuff I have... You know, most of this is fairly newish. But some stuff I do keep for, like, ages. So, and I might have just roundabout prices. So, anyway, you guys have a really great day, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye!